Hey guys, it's Max from Bravo Ready again. Uh, a couple people had actually uh, messaged me on uh, Facebook, and uh, if you come follow us on Facebook, I'll post a link right uh, down in the description. But um, that's the best way to get hold of me. Uh, I'll pretty much respond there 24 7. Um, but uh, some people have asked me, you know, what do I consider my bug out vehicle? Um, this is my vehicle. Um, you know, I also have a truck, but my truck, uh, in a situation where I had to leave, um, I consider it way too, it's too big. Um, you know, it wouldn't fit down a lot of paths and stuff that uh, we have around here where this is a smaller vehicle, but uh, you know, it's just as, if not more, capable off road. Um, as you can see, I don't have any modifications done to this vehicle. You know, I don't have to lift the big tires on it and everything. But I will say I've never gotten this stuck. Um, I've taken out quite a few. Uh, I, don't, I don't treat it nice. Um, I kind of have a challenge right now if, uh, if I can. But uh, I'll just go over and show you, uh, you know, what I do having this, what do I, what I do keeping this. And uh, I do, I added a couple of things to uh, kind of simulate what would happen, you know, if I was out and about. Um, you know, what do I take with me every day whenever I um, leave? But uh, stay tuned and uh, we'll go over, start at the front, go to the back. I did add a uh, little light bar on the front. Um, this is a combination spot flood. Um, I believe it's 20, 25,000 lumens. But um, you know, with this, I didn't get this to be all cool, and you know, I didn't post it up on the top of the Jeep and all that. This is strictly, um, you know, there's a lot of roads that uh, on my way home tonight, we've got a lot of deer and animals in this area. So uh, this is to prevent from, uh, you know hitting a deer, things like that. Uh, I use this on back roads a lot, or you know, on trails. You know, if we go out hunting and stuff, um, this is excellent for out in the trails. But uh, you know, just road driving, you know, I don't turn this on. I'm not one of those guys. Um, but uh, it, um, it's plenty bright for me. It's got a very nice, very uh, wide, wide output, as well as uh, with the spot, it, um, it spots pretty well. All right, now that we're inside, um, I do have a Madhouse Designs um, pistol mount. Um, as you can see, this uh, slides right over. And uh, I actually, uh, I got that in the tack pack as well, and I absolutely love that. Um, you can get the different uh, pins for different uh, pistol calibers. And uh, I've got that one, and then I've got a uh, 45 that um you know i can swap out um, if i do ever carry my 45. um over to the right as you can see i do have a uh, mobile biofang unit um this one uh, i got for a pretty good deal um this one opposed to you know the biofang radios that are five watts and uh, some go up to nine i've got one that goes up to nine this is a 45 uh watts and uh it's it's uh you can definitely tell the power difference with it um big thing with that is what kind of antenna you're running as well which that's on the back so we'll uh, get to that whenever we get back there but um that is the power thing um some things on the jeep that are just nice that come standard um with this i do have the option of an ac plug um is uh, the uh 150 watt 115 volt um, a lot of cars are coming with these nowadays, but uh, that is an option on there as well. There is um, four cigarette lighter plugs as well. Um, but, uh, you know, there's two in the glove box, one right there, and then there's one in the back seat as well. But um, as far as that, there's really not too much. Uh, I've got the mic mounted over here, and then uh, there's the switch for the uh, light bar up there. As far as the back seat, um, I really don't keep too much in the back seat. Um, sometimes I do have a uh, Molly attachment plate that can go on one of the seats for the back, and uh, the um, 
you can attach some different molly things back there. Um, it's not on there right now. One of the tabs broke off of it. So it's actually shipped off getting replaced. But uh, whenever those come back in, I'll uh, definitely show you guys those. Um, I went ahead, the company that I got them from, they, uh, they're they actually redoing all the tabs. I've got one for the back as well, which we'll go over once we get in the back. But um, it, uh, I sent both of them back for them to go ahead and fix all the tabs. Because evidently it was a pretty common issue. But, uh, you know, they were a stand-up company and they uh, definitely are getting it fixed. Uh, one thing I do love about the uh, four-door Jeeps, minus having the four doors, is uh, you've got tons of room underneath the seats. Um, excuse all the dog air. As you know, I've got a Husky. But uh, underneath the seats, you've got tons and tons of room. Um, you know, it's you can store... I've stored rifles under here. Um, you, know, you can put a lot of things under there. And... Um, you know that's that's definitely a really big plus with me. I like storage in a vehicle. All right, moving on to the back. Uh, right here, off the uh, back swing door, I do have uh, my two uh, antennas for my ham radios mounted. Um, the one on the right, which is the taller one, that is the for the 45 mo 45 watt mobile unit that you've seen up there. And then the smaller one to the left, that is actually a uh, handheld unit external. Uh, antenna and I've actually got that wired into the back seat so uh, you know if anyone you know if it was a shit at the fan situation the Jeep's loaded up you know we've got uh, somebody can plug their uh, handheld unit into that and now we've got you know a little bit you got a little bit more reach on that um, so you know if we were in a convoy or whatever um, we could use that um, as you can see it's uh, there's nothing special about them but uh, I do have them uh, they're just ran with uh, zip ties up to the front. Alrighty, as you can see, this is where all the goodies stay. Um, I'll just go over thing briefly what I keep in here and why I keep it in here, um, and we'll go out one by one. So uh, this, I know you think this is my bug out bag because this is what was in one of my videos. Since then, uh, this has now been reverted to my get home bag. So. Um, it's my get home bag, which we're going to go over that in a different video um, eventually, maybe next week. So if you want to see that, make sure you subscribe so you'll know when I do that. Um, next, I keep a pair of boots in here. These are just old, same issue boots when I was in the Air Force. They're waterproof. Put a lot of miles on those boots. I have a uh, fire extinguisher in here. Um, this has the, the uh, Molly attachment rack. I was telling you about um, that is usually mounted to that as well as my, I have rifle mounts on that as well so these aren't normally just flopping around in the back and uh, right now I'm actually not carrying my AR with me for that reason um, I don't like things just flopping around sliding around and uh, until things get broke so um, and it's very unsafe but uh, that's usually attached to the back of the seat uh, on that panel as well, both of those items. Alright, next, I opted for throwing a pair of coveralls in here. Um, these are going to stay in here throughout the winter, but these are full uh, body zip up coveralls. Um, I keep a few safety vests in here uh, you know, for traffic situations and I come up on the rack. Um, I keep a padlock. Um, this could go from anything, you know, if I, you know, just need to lock something up at the gym to, um, you know, if I need to, uh, if I've got a piece of chain and I just need to, like, you know, chain the vehicle down, something like that. Um, so that stays in there. Um, there's always a fire helmet in here, depending on where I've worked last. I keep a, just a cheap Walmart sleeping bag with a hammock inside of it in here. Um, that just always stays back here whether I'm just getting adventurous or it's a bug out situation here's the hammock and then the rest of the sleeping bag is in there I carry my plate carrier um, if my rifle goes my plate carrier goes that's my rule so uh, that every day that's in here 
Um, there looks like there's some granola bars in here. Those aren't normally in here, but I might keep a box in here just in case. That was my fell at the grocery the other day. Um, I keep some, uh, this is actually climbing rope and a couple carabiner. Um, you know, this could be if someone, you know, a car wreck, someone's been thrown down a culvert or whatever. You know, I could make, uh, I've got some webbing in my medic kit and uh, make a little harness. And if you could go down and help them. It's not a lot of rope, but it's a little bit. You might be able to do something with it. A machete. Um, this is just a cheap, cheap old machete. But uh, it's never been used, so it's got a sharp blade, and the reverse side of it is a saw blade as well. So, um, you know, if it comes down to it, and you know there could be debris in the way or on the road or something, um, it might take a while. But if it's the only way, at least it's a way. Um, also got a hanging saw in my get home bag, but. Um, and then I keep a full stock um, medical kit in here. Um, that's just that's what I do. Um, I have the the uh, know-how and skills to give basic medical treatment, <coughs> emergency medical treatment. So that stays in here. And it looks like my blood pressure cup and it's that scoped out. So somebody must have been taking their blood pressure. Um, apart from that, this little slip up. Yay, more storage. I told you I like storage. Um, so with this, I keep my um, hitch and ball in there. Another safety vest. Record straps. Yay, record straps. Right there. Tone rope, quicker rain jacket, and rain pants in here. Um, it's a rain suit. But I don't think I have to explain that too much. Keep an extra set of uh, lugs and my uh, key to them. I keep some good work gloves. These have the uh, leather grips on the bottom. Changing tires, whatever. Uh, this actually goes to my hitch, which is a lock to keep people from stealing it because that's the world we live in. But uh, that locks on. I've got the key in my keychain for that. <clears throat> keep a couple bungee cords. Um, Self explanatory as well. And. Jumper cables. Alright, guys, so that's my Jeep. Like I said, I don't have much in it. Um, the situation, I've got, um, you know, some bags packed. But, and uh, it's not that I don't want it in it, because there's all kinds of cool shit I want in this. Um, like I said, and maybe a year I'd like to come back and do another take at it. But um, I haven't had this for extremely long. But, as of right now, there's not much in it. But, you know, with the get home bag and, you know, if, well, I could load into it in 10, 15 minutes, I, I feel pretty confident in it. Um, you know, we, she, we know where the uh, bags and stuff are, so uh, they're easy to grab, throw in here. Um, you know, we have a, a, another medical bag that comes. Uh, bug out bags and you know my salt pack is going to go in here um, as well as we also have a uh, container of food and container of water as well so if you know apocalypse comes and bang we've got you know we've already we've exhausted bugging in and we now have to bug out this is what we're going to be taking um, I'd love to take the truck. Um, you know, the truck's a lot more intimidating, but fuel economy-wise, this is better on fuel. Um, this 
you can you have a better chance of sleeping it's bigger you can lay the seats down so in my opinion this among my five vehicles this is what wins and uh i hate that but it happened so that's it for today guys um if you haven't already and you like my videos make sure you subscribe right now if you subscribe you're uh we're a quarter of the way there first hundred subscribers they uh, are entered to win one of two gifts. Two people win. There's going to be a grand prize and a second prize. Um, and if you want some more information on what's going to be on those, go to my page, check out the giveaway video. Um, super simple. All you got to do is subscribe. Um, to make it go faster, share. Share my videos. But um, like I said, make sure you subscribe. And subscribe down there. My Facebook and all my social media is also down there. I do giveaways on everything, they're all separate giveaways. So you can win multiple items. So real quick, giveaway video, right over here, right here. Social media's down there. Like, subscribe, thanks guys.